Hello everyone, we already know about fossils. Study of fossils is called paleontology, but we don't need to dig deep everywhere to find the proof of evolution. If you observe, there are remarkable similarities between the embryo of different animals. In early stage, all the vertebrates look so similar. So many similarities in body design in early stages points towards a link between the different organisms. If you see here, the inner structure of forelimb of human, dog, bird and whale are very similar. These are made of same kind of bones and their external form is different because of their different functions. For example, the forelimb of a whale is used as a paddle and the forearms in case of bat and birds are modified for flight. Such organs which have the same basic design but different functions are called homologous organs. So homologous organs tell us that all vertebrates have common ancestors. Here we see the wings of a bat and a bird. As we know both the birds and the bats have wings but in case of birds, the wings are covered with feathers, while the wings of bat consist of flaps of skin stretched between the bones of the fingers and arm. Now, in both the cases, that is, in case of birds and bats, the wings serve the same purpose, though their basic structure is different. Such organs are called analogous organs. Their origin is different but they look similar as they serve the same purpose. So, organisms not closely related evolve same trait for adapting to the same environment or ecological niche. As we saw in the case of birds belonging to the class Avis and the bat belonging to the class Mammalia. This kind of evolution is called Converging evolution. So we see the proof of evolution is everywhere beneath the ground, around us. So organisms kept evolving throughout the history and they are still evolving and will keep evolving as the earth keeps changing. In the next lesson, we shall learn about human evolution. Until then, bye bye.